in India, we're super proud of everything that ISRO has accomplished, ISRO. Uh, my yeah. question is about the conversations that happen in NASA with regard to ISRO. What is spoken about ISRO? I think it's very exciting what's going on there. And I, 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 I think that there's a lot of opportunities for cooperation. Um, so I know, I think it, it's, it's I, the science that they're doing, they're, the plans they have. I think flying this astronaut on uh, the Indian astronaut on, on Axiom Four is is a is a great step. What they accomplished on the moon was amazing, you know, and and I think there's there's so many smart, talented, passionate people in India um, that they develop opportunities for exploring space. I, I think it's it's just I think it's going to lead to some really wonderful things. So I I'm very excited about what uh, what what's going on with the Indian space program and. I hope you know, hopefully our countries will be working together to do those things together. I think that would, I think we are already, and I think we should continue to do so. Yeah. Uh, could you compare the strengths of NASA to the strengths of ISRO and figure out how we can work together better? I think uh, I, I think there, I think NASA has a lot of experience. You know, they've done it for a long time. I mean, NASA was formed before I was born. It was a long time ago <laughs> that that that. That NASA was formed, and we've been flying people in space, and and I, I think with uh, with Israel, I think they have a lot of a lot of resources, a lot of really smart people. They're really passionate about the space, and uh, so I think that th those are those are really important things too. I, it, there's a lot of brain power, a lot of talent in India, and um, and with Israel, and uh, so I think the combination of you know NASA too is a lot of talented people, but they you know they have a lot more experience in doing this stuff. And Israel's not new to it, and even launching things, you know, they have great capabilities. So, yeah, I, I think I think you know you always you, you different different people, different countries, different cultures, different backgrounds look at problems a little bit differently. And if everyone thinks the same way, you're never going to solve those complex problems. So I think it's good to have people with different experiences and different resources and backgrounds. Because if everyone thinks the same way, you're never going to solve any big problems. So I think that working together, I think we could solve a little. Gotcha. Uh, what does sleep feel like in space? I'm sorry, I had to get that question out of my head. Uh, it's pretty relaxing. It's kind of like, you know, you close your eyes and go to bed, but you're, you're floating there. So, uh, but I liked it. You know, it, it takes a little bit getting used to. You're inside of a, of a sleeping bag. Um, so, you're, and you're usually attached on the space station to have their own little crew quarters, like a closet. They're attached to a wall. On the space shuttle, we would put our sleeping bags wherever we could find a spot and attach them to the wall or the ceiling or the floor, wherever. But uh, once you get used to it, it's really relaxing. Is it true that sweating is annoying when you're up there? Uh, well, you you, uh, you you do have ways to cool yourself off. So if you're like sweating during your spacewalk, you try to get more cooling. Uh, but no, it's, you just got to, liquid is a problem. Um, so the sweat will, will stick to you. So you want to, after you work out, you want to clean yourself off. Oh,